Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. Guys, after two very stressful weeks of trying to figure out this issue that I was involved in with work, we think we got ahead of it finally today. Yay! Also, I am wearing my good luck dress, but for no reason, because it's comfy. And it's over 90 degrees, and we want to eat stuffed shells for dinner, and I cannot eat that kind of red sauce acidity and expect to run later, so I have to go on my run right now. And I did my hair, so I told Terry we have to open up the vlog <laughs> before I go on a run, because I did my hair Our mostly to Zoom. Is so loud. <laughs> we, Sarah, put back on New Girl. We're back on the new girl trip now that we finish its Creek. Yeah, so you're gonna run. I'm gonna start some noodles. Noodles, and that's that. Think about what we should do tonight. Should we play games? Should we play more Switch? Should we go get a coffee maker? Just kidding. I ordered one. I ordered one, guys, because I realized that I just keep forgetting when I go out because it's not a priority. But I ordered one off the internet. Anyway, I'm scared for this run. But I'll be back. About to go on my run. It's very hot out today. I was hoping for six, but let's see how this goes. Okay, while I'm editing this, I'll look it up. Officially finished this jar of pickles. A lot of it had to do with frying so many of them. Thankfully, we have another massive jar. So I'm cooking up some normal pasta for me because I think I've just had like enough of the fake cheese stuffed shells. Like I enjoyed it. I'm happy that we had it, but I just like the sauce doesn't taste as different as like the difference in cheese does. Um, so I'm making myself some spaghetti to have with the red sauce. And honestly, we probably only have like a third of the tray left of the stuffed shells. We've been eating it a lot. So Peter did say that he want, he still is enjoying the shells. So he's gonna have that. And I think it's just gonna be a simple dinner. I decided to make a little strawberry, blueberry, apple salad. I put some sugar on it. Um, and I'm gonna just put it in the fridge. We're just waiting for Peter to get home. I might actually. You little beggar. It's no joke. It is a little brutal out today. Uh, I plan on running tonight, right before curfew, but when we decided that we were doing stuffed shells and pasta, I was like, now I gotta run before. Whew. I wanna thank you guys for all the support during the training and all of our ACS adventures the past two and a half years. We got an awesome donation today from the Johnson family. Thank you so much. I also have been talking with my ACS contact for Chicago Marathon and me and her are in the works to do like a cool fundraising video for the rest of the Chicago Marathoners to like just give helpful hints on fundraising through Facebook and other means. So it's really like, exciting to get like more like ingrained in ACS's fundraising, fundraising organization. Very exciting. Of course, repping my Teen Determination singlet. Oh man, it's probably safe to not, safer to not drink from that water fountain, but Peter, come on, you have a hydration belt. I gotta remember to bring that on these now that it's Florida summer. I woke up this morning, brought Eve out to, for a walk and it smelled like Disney vacation morning humidity, like warm, but more humidity. Like you could smell the wet in the air, but it's still like misty out. That's an early morning Walt Disney World vacation day. And before we know it, everybody, we're gonna get back to that. I'm serious when I said the other day that we're gonna book a one night after all this is over and the resort's open again separate from the family vacation. We need a night of Stacy in the morning on the balcony with coffee, enjoying the sounds of Disney resorts. All right, I gotta get back to this. I gotta get it over with. Oh, 
I love it. It hurts so good, as they say. Not even playing games today. I hit four miles, and I'm gonna walk it home because it's brutal out. But I got four miles in. Better than nothing, right? Block, 10 steps, better than zero. Look at this delicious leftover plate. Stuffed shells for the ages. Post run, stuffed shells. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Look at this hair. We just ate delicious food and I just finally sat down. I watched it early till I listened to it early today when I was working with Sarah and I just sat down and watched Barack Obama's endorsement of Joe Biden. And it is great to see that man again and it's great to hear his voice again. And I put it in our Facebook group and I'll say it now. It's important to get involved in politics. It's our American right and duty. And it's important to vote and to be educated voters. I don't care who you vote for, so my best friends vote differently than I do, but that doesn't matter to me. But I love that man, and I'm excited to hear his voice and to see him getting back in, and hoping that the world becomes a kinder place throughout all of this. Time to follow that up with my biggest man crush, and well, pretty much my only man crush in the entire world, John Krasinski, some good news. This is the difference between our, our M50 lens at night and a cell phone. <laughs> we're taking Eve for a walk. We were trying to find a spot where we could sit that wasn't like a bench, but I think it's too muggy and buggy out for us to sit. Yeah, well, maybe we'll find something. Home now. Yeah, we're, we've gotten far. And it's very dark as you can see. <laughs> but Eve's loving it. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh gosh, she's so exhausted. You okay? You exhausted from the walk? Lay down on the cold tile. You'll feel better. You look exhausted. Alright, Sarah's gonna try to give this her best shot. I really want to see this one. But she's also kind of very comfy here. She's got a pillow and blanket and she's got a nice setup. <laughs> <laughs> and the pup. She doesn't want to She's see. very exhausted right now still. It's taking a long time for her body to cool down. But we're going to watch The Big Short, which I've watched before. You've seen, I think, like parts of it. I think you started watching it before and fell asleep when I watched it. Excuse me. I don't maybe know. Maybe I watched it on my own. We should have watched this on our Christian Bale marathon instead of American Psycho. True, true. <laughs> we didn't even finish that one. Um, but this is a really good movie. It's the Big so Short. got so many of our favorites in it. Steve Carell... Ryan I need to Gosling, find out Schmidt's real Christian name from Bale, New Girl. Schmidt from New Girl's in it for like a hot minute. But it's, uh, it's crazy because it's, like it's, all, it's all based on true events. It's on the 08 financial crisis and like the things they talk about the banks like really did happen. Hello. What did you think of the movie? Really like Have you it. seen it? Now that you've seen it, did you see it before mm -hmm. with me? So I watched it by myself. Yeah. When, um, when that took like a really time. long time to watch because I feel like, well one there was like commercials on whatever streaming, I think it was Amazon that we streamed it on. And then we were also like pausing to like explain things. So I would say like if you're gonna watch it, like you might need to watch it with somebody or like with Google with you to like know different terms and stuff. It's all based on true people and true events. Yeah. And it's like a really interesting time to watch it because of what's happening right now in our own economy and our own country and globally. Um, but still just like really interesting, especially since, so like just to give some perspective, Peter and I are, well, I'm 20, I'm going to turn 28, so we're 28, and the um, economic, what was it called? Crisis. Crisis in 2008, so we were 16, so, like, we personally, like, didn't experience much of it, and, like, a lot of it was, like, more behind the scenes. Ish. Well, like our parents and jobs our, were right. could have been affected, but like your pocketbook and my pocketbook. Right, we didn't really have. We didn't have more. We, <laughs> we didn't have. Didn't have jobs. We were high schoolers, so like we didn't have mortgages. Right, and, and so like I didn't. I wasn't as knowledgeable. I didn't watch the news when I was sixteen years old, and so like obviously I knew what happened like growing up through it, but I didn't like know no. And that's crazy. That could happen again. Yeah, poor renters. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little bit of a late it's one. Birthday time. Two minutes after my birthday time. What's today's date? It's the 14th. 
14. Stephen Richards says, When you do what you fear most, then you can do anything. Oh, I love that. I'm not even going to fake it with my hat on right now with this hair, but it's getting so long. <laughs> you look like um, Rob <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. He just got released a little I bit know. ago. I was so... Never mind. We won't get into it. <laughs> It is We're good Chicagoans. to be home. <laughs> it's good to be home. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.